consider it something similar to be a hybrid gang, which is what we call uh, younger juveniles coming together in a area, but not having the generational ties to like traditional well-known gangs. Austin Police Detective Nicholas Gebhart says on January 8th of this year, officers found 21-year-old Francisco Montufa Miranda shot at the Avalon Palms Apartments in North Austin. He later died from his injuries at the hospital. Myself and APD have been in close contact with the family of Francisco and hopes this arrest that was made possible through the collaboration with the gang unit and VCTF will help bring some peace to Francisco's family during this difficult time. A months-long investigation ensued with the Homicide Unit, Gang Suppression Unit, and Violent Crimes Task Force all working together on the case. On March 25th, he says they executed a search warrant in the area of Loyola and Decker Lane, where detectives identified the 13-year-old boy as a suspect in the murder. They say the teen, whose name isn't being released due to his age, was found with multiple extended capacity pistol magazines they were able to link to the murder weapon. We don't know exactly how they got them or where they came from, but uh, yes, many weapons are stolen, but uh, they're also simply bought just off the street, not specifically stolen. Investigators also say this teen has been linked to several other shootings, including a drive-by that happened last December at a North Austin convenience store where five children and four adults were hurt. A 15-year-old has also been arrested in connection to the same shooting. The drive-by shooting, um, I believe, was a dispute between other people and innocent people, you know, caught in the crossfire. Uh, the murder, like I said, I think it's still just a random act. Detective Gebhardt says it's an unusual pattern uncovered across the course of the investigation. During this investigation, um, I've been investigating several different juveniles. In my experience, I haven't seen it like this before, but there does seem to be a high amount of violent crime being uh, committed by juveniles in that North Austin area. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.